Hello everybody, welcome back. My name is Noah Gaming and today we're going to be showing you how to stream and record VR. Today we're going to be using the HTC Vive. Okay, so the stream and record VR, there's multiple ways of doing it. I'm going to be showing you both ways and then you can choose which one you prefer. The first way is to simply capture your VR window. So in Steam VR, you can click on the little drop down and click display VR view. You can full screen that and just capture that window. So the problem with this is that the window might not be in its fullest quality and if you don't minimize it, the VR window, the Steam VR window will continue showing unless you minimize it. The second method of streaming and recording VR is my preferred method because you'll get it in its full quality and you don't have to really worry about any windows popping in and out of your screen. And that is using a plugin for OBS, OBS Studio. And I believe you can get it working for OB, uh, Streamlabs OBS but I couldn't find the plugin files for it. Uh, and it's called OpenVR Capture. So we're gonna to go to the website now and show you how to download it and get it installed. And there's gonna be links down below in the description. So on the GitHub page here for the plugin, currently it's in version 1.4. Now the installation is pretty easy. It gives you text on how to install it and it also gives you the images. So what you wanna do is you wanna scroll down a little bit and click on OBS OpenVR Input Plugin version 1.4.zip. And then once that is downloaded, you can go to your downloads, which I've got right here. Uh, so that's the program that in my downloads, you open that up and then you have data, OBS plugins, and then a readme file. Okay, the zip file installed with the uh, data and OBS plugins file, what you wanna do is find the plugins file for OBS Studio, if that's the one you're using. The method here is very similar for regular OBS. And as I said earlier, I couldn't find the files for uh, Streamlabs OBS, not plugin files at least. Uh, so if you can find them, put it down in the comments, help other people out. Uh, or if you found a form that shows you how to install uh, this software or this plugin on Streamlabs OBS, put link it down below so, other pe so you can help other people out and then if you have one that works, I'll pin it to the top of the comments. So what you wanna do is you wanna to go to your PC, you wanna to go to local, uh, so your C drive by default. You wanna to go to program files, not program uh, 68, uh, 86, but program files, you wanna then type in O, which is actually just one down from where I was, uh, and open that file, you get bin, data, OBS plugins, and then uninstall. So what you want to do is to install the plugin by just dragging these files over. It's that simple. I'm not going to do that because I'm currently recording on OBS. It'll break everything. But if I drag OBS over, bam, the infinite vortex of OBS. Let's disable that. So now with the program installed, you probably have to close and reopen OBS if you have it open already. With that program installed, if you click the plus here, or you can just click add, uh, you have open VR capture. Hey guys, it's Noah from the future, just telling you, uh, when you open this box, there will be a preview of your VR screen. You just need to have your VR turned on and plugged into the PC. I forgot to mention this in the video. Um, so don't, don't worry about it. Uh, just came here to pop in to say that. Right, carry on with the video. We can open a source, it will give you this window here, so you can capture uh, right eye or no eye, you can uh, pick one of their preset crops. I use a custom custom crop because I usually find with these preset crops, uh, they rather cut too much or there's like a little black space in the bottom corner. But once you have all this set up, it works exactly like game capture in OBS. So at that point, you're all ready to start streaming. That's how you install uh, this plugin to stream and record OBS. Until next time, thank you very much for watching. Make sure to comment what I put what I put before. If you have a link for Streamlabs OBS to get this working, I'll pin it. Um, any other helpful comments are also welcomed. Um, make sure you like and subscribe the video. And if you do subscribe, hit the notification bell to be notified for more useful tutorials just like this one. And until next time, I'll see y'all later.